back again today with another video In today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys this beautiful bronzy and glowy makeup look I actually did wear this look in my massive Walmart and Ulta haul and I got so many requests and what better time to do a bronze makeup look than in the summertime I feel like every girl should have a go-to bronzy look because a bronzy look is just so classic you guys it goes with everything if you guys have a red dress bronzy look if you guys want to do a bold red lip bronzy look if you guys have date night bronzy look if you guys are going to a wedding bronzy look like you get me you can achieve this look honestly with any type of bronze palette that you have in your collection but today i decided to jump into the new the new natasha denona bronze palette which has my fingerprints all over it because i obviously just used it if you love bronzy golden warm tone eyeshadows you're going to love this palette i mean this palette is stunning she is a bit pricey i'm not gonna lie this was definitely a splurge item but like i said there is so many amazing bronzy palettes on the market you can literally recreate this look with any palette that you have in your collection I just wanted to use that new new cuz bitch I spend my coins on it okay also really quickly before I end this intro I did want to make a huge announcement so I decided finally after so long and so many years of being on YouTube I am finally gonna be on a filming schedule the schedule that I came up with that I feel works best for me is to upload two times a week so you guys are gonna face Hopefully be getting two videos a week and I'm gonna be uploading every Sunday and Wednesday you guys so keep your post notifications on that way you do not miss out on any upload but of course you know the notifications be playing with me okay they be trying me um because I get so many comments saying that you guys didn't get the post notifications that's why I decided to do the filming schedule that way y'all know to come back every Sunday and Wednesday so yeah comment down below what you guys think of the new filming schedule do we love it do we hate it you know let me know down in the comments but yeah now let me stop rambling and if you guys want to see how I got this bronzy glowy look then you already know what to do and yeah you guys until next time bye all right let's get it so jumping straight in i already have my brows on and the brows are like power today girl i must say but anyways going straight in with the p louise base and this one is in the shade rumor 2 which is kind of like a concealer shade and i like to generously apply this you guys okay because i want my lid to be completely blank for our eyeshadow and i just really love how this base is so creamy and so easy to work with and i love that it literally just makes your eyeshadows look nice and pigmented and it does not make them crease and can we just talk about how beautiful that base is but anyways moving along now we're going into the natasha denona bronze palette and look at how beautiful is the packaging it is literally just like a bronze brick mirror it is gorgeous and honestly my favorite part about this palette is the shimmers like they are so reflective and stunning and just such a beautiful palette first shade i'm going into is the shade suntan which is the most beautiful warm burnt brown oh my god it is so pretty and you really have to get into the undertone of this palette which is why i bought it you guys it is not just like any other bronze palette it has really really nice undertones to the browns which makes it really really flattering and just not just a typical brown and orange you know what i'm saying they're really unique and really nice warm tones so anyway i am just packing this into the crease and then just slowly blending that up that way it's not just a harsh line and now i'm also working that color onto our outer corners just to add a little bit of depth to this look and i will admit this is my first time using any eyeshadows from natasha denona and girl i can see why they're so expensive because they are so buttery by the way the brush i'm using is the jungle rock collection we're moving on to the shade sun down which is um i have to check real quick which is a nice like light peachy orangey shade so pretty as a transition color but yeah now i'm taking that on my favorite bh cosmetics number six brush this is from their rose gold collection and as you guys can see i'm just buffing out all of those harsh edges and i'm taking an even bigger brush and now seamlessly just making that blend even more okay because we blend for the gods over here on this channel okay 
So now that we have our crease looking all gorgeous, now it's time for that stunning lid shade. So for that, I'm gonna take the shade True Bronze and first I had to wet my brush. And I just wanna show you guys up close. I am gonna tug my eye just slightly because we are not doing a cut crease, but I kinda want our lid to look really clean. And I also wanna bring it up a little bit higher than my normal lid just so that way you can actually see it when my eyes are open because I do have a little bit of hooded lids. But yeah, as you guys can see, that shimmer is beautiful, you guys. Absolutely stunning. And now going back in with that suntan shade and packing that back onto our outer corners just to make sure that is nice and packed on and we didn't lose any of that color. And can you just see this blend? Like, I am so obsessed. Yes, girl. So now moving on to wing liner. This one is from Cara Beauty and this is their um, liquid pen eyeliner. And I am, am obsessed with this, you guys. So I'm gonna give it a good shake and I just wanna show you guys how sharp and crazy this liner is. Like, bitch, you can stab somebody with this. It is so legit. So I like to use this to do my wing and as you can see, it just makes it so easy to get the perfect wing because this is just so sharp and it does dry mattes. But of course, since we are using a shimmer, I do wanna go and switch over to my Wet n Wild Mega Liner just because a liquid liner glides on way better over shimmer than kinda like a felt tip liner. Oops, bitch, I fucked up. But anyway, you guys get what I'm saying. If you guys want a really true black matte liner, if you guys want to use that trick, use the felt tip only on the wing. But then if you are going over a shimmer, definitely opt out for a liquid liner. So now that we got our wings on and they looking real good today, okay, we having a good wing day. Now it's time for some lashes and I've been obsessed with these. These are from the Bold Face. First of all, they're upside down, but okay. These are in the style Newsworthy and they are just so popping and pointy. I love them. And that's on period. But anyway, moving on to the face. I'm taking my Smashbox Coconut So Chill Primer Water. You know, this is my holy grail. And I'm also taking the Juna & Co. Moonshine Cream. And you already know I love this stuff. This is like a moisturizer and a blurring primer all in one. It is literally the Miracle Cream. That's the title of it. And I totally agree because girl works wonders. Now for foundation, I'm taking the Oma Beauty. This is the Say Wet Foundation in the shade Fair Lady T3N. And girl, I love this foundation. I wanted to opt out for something that I know that I love that I know is gonna look bomb and yeah I just want to feel beautiful and confident today and this is one of the foundations that honestly makes me feel like that bitch okay because it just has my skin looking popping so moving on to concealer this is from Jouer this is their um, liquid essential high coverage concealer I hope I'm saying that right but yeah this one is in the shade cream cafe and this is a very thick full coverage concealer if you want your other eyes to look airbrushed girl i highly recommend this concealer and girl like i said it's full coverage so it's gonna cover everything even all your damn problems but anyways i wanted to leave this footage in just so that way you guys can see how gorgeous this concealer is in action and i'll always kind of like skip over this part but i wanted to like leave a little bit of the footage of the foundation and the concealer just so that way you guys can see the face is really snatched, okay? And these products are really bomb. So now moving on to Cream Contour. This one is from Huda Beauty. Have a used her in a minute, so I decided to back her out in today's video. So yeah, this one is in the shade Light, and I just love this cream bronzer so much. It just adds a beautiful sun kiss, like warm tone to the face without looking muddy, and it doesn't drag, it doesn't skip. I really, really like it. And it does not look patchy throughout the day. There are some cream bronzers where throughout the day they can tend to fade in some areas and it could give you kind of like a patchy looking like streak on your cheek. I hate that. So I need a cream bronzer that is going to stay put and this one honestly does it for me. So I'm also gonna snatch my nose because what is a look without a snatch nose? And also adding a little bit more concealer down the bridge of the nose and also underneath my contour just to make sure everything is nice, crisp, and clean. And now to set my under eye, I'm using the OG. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Translucent Setting Powder. So first I'm gonna set that and I'm gonna press this in. I'm gonna use a generous amount of powder because like I said, girl, it's summertime. So, you know, you want your makeup to stay locked in place. If you guys want an in-depth, like a sweat-proof, summer-proof makeup foundation routine, let me know because I will definitely show you guys all my tips and tricks on how I get my foundation to last all day through this hot-ass weather. So anyways, to set the rest of the face i'm also going to use the mac mineralized skin finish in the shade golden medium i believe all of the products and the correct shade names will be down in the description box but yeah i'm just taking a big fluffy brush and using that to set my foundation and now moving on to bronzer i'm taking this bronzer that i fell in love with from 
my last video and this one is from essence and this is their sun club matte bronzing powder and girl i've been obsessed with this bronzing powder like it is just so good like look at that honey yes and I know I mentioned this before in previous videos, but I've been loving to use a bigger brush for my bronzer lately, only because y'all know I love a good structured contour, but for some reason in the summertime, I'm all about that blown out, no harsh lines on the face type of look. And I achieve that look with more of a bigger brush at the moment. So I love more of a blown out bronzer look. Now for blush, I'm using these from Patrick Ta. These are their cream blush powder duos. So yeah, it comes with a cream blush and a powder blush and as you guys can see the cream blush side has this little plastic top so that way your powder blush never gets mixed in with it so yeah i decided to go in with do we know her which is more of the coral one and the brown one was she's so la i wanted to get the brown one just to use as a cream bronzer cream contour type of thing so i'm going to show you guys that one in a different video i would recommend to use the cream blush kind of like with a beauty blender underneath all of your powders but i kind of like forgot about this product so i'm putting it over my powders and I honestly wanted to test it that way and it's crazy because it did not disturb my powder my foundation nothing and it looked it really really cute and as you guys can see in the pan the cream blush definitely does look pretty intense but it definitely does sheer out on the face and is super wearable and just gorgeous so of course I'm gonna set that blush with the powder blush now and I love the powder blush formula from Patrick Ta I do have their old ones and they're just amazing if you haven't tried them already you definitely need to and these duos were bomb so moving back on to our our lower lash line i'm taking that same shade which is suntan and i'm gonna run that on like a smudger flat brush and i'm gonna drag this pretty far down because i want this to be pretty blown out on my lower lash line and i'm also gonna take a little bit of that transition shade that we also use to blend out that brown and i'm gonna run that on my lower lash line as well just to make sure everything is nice and cohesive with the top so for my waterline i am gonna take the benefit highbrow now this is actually for your eyebrows it's used to like underline them but i love this for my waterline i am obsessed with this it is just a perfect bright light nude without being too like stark white it is just so good and you can see just how awake the eyes look and for my inner corner i am going to take the greek goddess palette from lunar beauty and as you guys can see i did just pop into that middle gold shade and i love this gold shade it's kind of like white but it has a hint of gold and i love it in my inner corner so for lower lash mascara of course we popping on that kkw and girl lower lash mascara just makes all the difference so do not skip it and that's it for the eyes so last but not least for the face of course is highlights and i'm taking the laura geller gilded honey what better highlight for this look than this i'll wait oh i so yes this is just a perfect wet golden highlight if you're going for a bronzy golden look you definitely need this highlight in your life it is so good and it's just so pretty to have you know what i'm saying like it literally just looks so popping to look at so I'm kind of going in with the highlighter, especially when I'm doing a glowy makeup look. So I'm going to do it on my cheekbones, on my nose. I even pop a little bit on my forehead, on my chin, like everywhere the light is going to hit your face, your brow bone, all that sis. You want to highlight because when the sun hits you, don't get me wrong, this look looks popping underneath my lights and in my beauty room. But girl, this look is really it outside in the natural daylight sun. To me, that's when this look just has all its glory. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, moving on to lips. I am going to take the Morphe Bite Me Lip Liner Pencil, which y'all already know this is my shit. It is just the perfect chocolate brown shade. And I am just going to quickly line my lips. Now, today, I'm not going to lie. My lip combo was a little bit extra. Kind of used a few lip products, but... Yeah, yeah, no, I'm always so extra. So anyway, now I'm just going to blend in that lip liner just a bit because we are going for more of a ombre lip in today's look. And now I'm going to take the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stripped. And I am just going to pop that right onto the lips. Now I do have a separate lip brush. This is a makeup brush, but I like to use it on my lips. And it is a small blending brush. And this has been kind of like my little trick to get my lips to look really nice and blended into my liner. So as you guys can see, the lips look 
look really nice just on its own like this but like i said i had to drag it <laughs> so now i'm gonna take the jordana tisha liquid lipstick in the shade mm, and just pop that onto the center my bad i forgot to show it but like i said all of the products are in the description box so yeah i was gonna leave it matte but since this is a glowy look i, de I decided to add just a little bit of gloss so i'm taking the jordana tisha lip gloss in the shade buttercream i believe or butterscotch i'm not sure and it is just the perfect warm tone gloss you guys as you can see it went perfect with my eyeshadow and it complemented the look so well and now the big secret to a glowy face is obviously glowy setting spray so i do have the glowy sets from anastasia you can use the glow recipe watermelon mist or if you guys want a drugstore alternative you can use the l'oreal lumi shake and glow dewy mist but today i'm gonna go with the anastasia dewy set and i love this so much you guys it'll literally take your makeup from matte to bitch i'm j-lo literally like don't be sleeping on no dewy setting spray and now to really step it up a notch especially for the summertime you know we all wearing spaghetti straps tank tops strapless tube tops girl you cannot skip this step and that's to add some body oil to your skin this is from ColourPop, and this this is the soul body dry shimmering oil and this is so pretty and reflective on the lights as you guys can see it literally makes your body look wet and glowy and you cannot have a bronzy glowy look without you know adding the glow to the body you know what i'm saying it just gives you the whole fantasy so this is the completed look i hope you guys did enjoy this thank you all for requesting this look and yeah thank you all for watching and until next time guys bye